Hello Internet people! In the next 6 minutes, I'll show you how to create a child theme in WordPress with a plugin. Even if you've done some updates to the parent, those changes will be copied to the child. How to check that it works and how to copy any parent theme file into child theme. Arnie, how do you set up your child theme? Tape sweat punch! Alright. At this point, I'll assume you know what the child theme is and why you need one. If you don't, check out the video that appears on your screen now. But in summary, just create a child theme whenever you set up a new WordPress website. Because there are no real disadvantages and it takes only a few minutes. Enough talk! So let's get started with the tutorial. I'm here in my WordPress dashboard and you need to navigate to plugins and add new. Then in the search box type child theme and select the child theme configurator and just click on the install now. Once it's done, click on activate. And once it's activated, it'll take you to the install plugins page. If you just scroll down, you can see here that you have the child theme configurator and you can access it through tools and child themes. So on this page, you'll be able to select the parent theme. So here in the second section, pick your parent theme. In my case, it's the right one already and click on analyze. Dude from 80s, what's your theme's name? Oh my God! Brought to you by OMG.com. When it's done, you can set up the new theme directory. You can just keep it as, as default. So it's lazy lemon dash child. You can skip the fifth one and go to the sixth section. And in my case, it chose the third option, but actually it's better that you choose the first option. So use the WordPress style queue. In that way you can update the CSS much easier. And then you can keep the seventh one as is. And in the eighth section, just click on the checkbox. This is in case you already set up some things for your theme. For example, if you have a custom, if you customized already something in the customizer or in the menus, then check this. It will copy all that information and then your new child theme will have the same settings as your parent. In my case, I need to check this because I have some stuff that I want to keep. If you have a completely new install, you can skip this. And then click on create new child theme. While waiting, you can talk to the TV like Steven does. I'm gonna take you to the bank, Senator Trent. To the blood bank. You can see that the child theme is created. The easiest way to see it is go to Appearance and Themes. And here you can see I have my active theme is Lazy Lemon, but here on the right I have a Lazy Lemon child. And if I click on Activate, the child theme is the active theme. And you can check this by going to appearance and then editor. So you can see here you have lazy Lemon child and on the right, if you check this drop down, you have the parent and the child. And here are the two pages that the plugin copies by default. And just to show you that it works, I'll add some custom CSS and I'll just make my header one to red, update file. And then when I go to the website and refresh the page, you can see that the main header here on top turned red. You're already probably thinking, fuck you. For all of this, for a red title. But trust me, in the long run, a child thing will help you. At this point, your child theme is fully installed. You could now delete the plugin, but I would keep it just because if you need to copy some of the pages later on. So for example, I can show you if I would like to copy the 404 page and make some customizations to it, maybe give a, a new title or whatever. I can do it through the plugin. If you go to tools and child themes, and then you have a tab called files. And for example, 404 page, if I check this and then copy it, the theme will take this file 
from the parent and we'll copy it in child theme folder and again if you go to appearance and editor you'll be able to see it there so here on the right I have now 404 template if I go inside you can see there's a bunch of code but just to show you I'll type in hello internet people or if you're a man but you're pregnant you would type something like manipulus are very sensitive and then I'll save the file and then if I go to the website and then I'll just write in the URL some gibberish to see the 404 page you'll see here at the top that here's the text I just wrote this way you can update any file in child theme without messing up anything in the parent my name is Robert and if you're looking to master the digital world while getting entertained this is the channel for you so hit that subscribe button and find the bell icon so that you get notified about new videos here are two videos that you might like the first one shows how to get a free SSL certificate on any hosting and the second one shows how to speed up your WordPress Whoosh.